Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfex YouTube channel and this is Mi 11X I mean the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews you can see Mi UI VN version 14.0.4 has been received recently you can see if I go into detail into specs you can see here the security patch still remains January only and Android version is 13 you guys can see that and the kernel user is 4.19.157 perf kernel has been used recently i got this update i have been using this from last one hour now and you can see the performance mode has been enabled with that only i have tried to run the geekbench and even cpu throttling test and even the and to benchmark results everything will be explained in detail in this video and by the way guys if you're first time to this channel and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below guys you will be receiving similar kind of videos especially the vn edition videos are coming in my channel and if you like the video give it a like yeah now the security patch as i said it's still on january we might get some more updates also and this is how the typical app drawer and home screen looks like and if you press and hold here you get widgets that's fine here i s simply see some of the widgets missing here like the watch widgets i didn't find out if you guys can find it out let me know in the comment section guys previously there were some watch faces here i currently after this update particularly i have been not noticing that that's the one change i have noticed here let me disable this volume mode yeah silent mode yeah there's a quick settings panel the good thing is you get this edit options as i shown in the uh, shorts video you can check out how to change them it's very simple and you also get a lot more toggles here vibration will be turned on when you enable the silent mode and you can see this is the settings panel it's very smooth in the response as you can see just swipe it will go as you can see it's very smooth I already shown the my device section here security status again you get security the google play protect okay that's not how okay find device will be turned on i try to turn off in many of the builds it's not going to happen i don't know what's the problem if you guys know about that let me know in the comment section and connection sharing everything is working fine here no problem regarding that wallpapers and personalization i still did not found this option like this one as you can see it's not getting downloaded the super wallpapers you need to manually install them that's the one thing you're simply missing in this particular rom and you can see other fonts themes effects alarms notifications icons those things you can change it manually that's still present here home screen here you can see amazon animation speed you can keep it out fast balance and relax i kept for fast system navigation you get gestures buttons both the options those are working fine here nothing problem and the home screen again app drawer light mode classic the other options has been given as we can see in the previous update nothing change have been noticed here as you can see then blur app previews arrange items and reasons you can keep some of the customization you can see even full blur card shadow you can enable or disable these options layer layer animation disable simple animation you can do from here show blurred icons also you can do from here parameter x y axis also you can adjust here even the card zoom change speed zoom value rolling sensitivity these things are going to make a full customized home screen here in terms of recent i'm speaking just see in the terms of recent you're getting a lot more customization here and reboot launcher if you want to reboot it double tap to wake the skin i mean turn off the skin and turn off the scheme from swapping up is available in this particular rom now notification and control center again here also nothing change new will be used by majority of the people additional cards you can add again here there are a lot more as you can see music widget display style permanent on playback also you can disable that currently is it's available you can disable or only playback settings can also be enabled from here status bar again as you can see show, show lt instead of 4g those things are still available network type you can choose colored notification icons status bar style also you can customize from here those things are still present and as you can see show weather also if you want you can enable or disable from here 
and display settings again there is anti flicker mode but i haven't seen any huge difference in terms of flickering in terms of like naked you cannot see i mean naked eyes you cannot see that but when i record the video let me show you if i can show you the flickering no currently it's not happening but it will happen time being it's not happening that's how it is it will help you but i don't recommend to use that and refresh rate i kept to 120 here not the default one to experience a really smooth experience in this particular MIUI VN 14.0.4 edition and AI image engine you want you can enable them it will improve the HDR and motion capabilities a lot sound and touch again you get a plenty of options here sound effects are also given Dolby Atmos support is there and I keep this custom graphic equalizer max it out if you don't know anything at least max it out that's my preference if you know you can use your style of thing and harman kardon certification has been given it's not a hardware level feature just they have implemented in this particular rom that's not the problem here profile videos for incoming calls has been also present that's not the problem and do not disturb you get all the options from here these are the major settings and passwords and security you get face fingerprint i haven't registered face lock but those will be going to fast only no problem regarding that again battery i have using this performance mode now and screen on time you can see it out 54 minutes and now currently it's like 40 87 percent it is good in my opinion the battery life is also a lot more improved i have seen telegram also people telling about the same apps additional settings you get all this accessibility gesture shortcuts quick ball settings one-handed mode clear speaker front camera assistant floating windows and memory extension up to 5 gb i have kept 5 gb itself light mode is also given video toolbox is also given second space is also given enterprise mode is also given here these are the settings you get as you can see and this is a quick settings panel if want you can arrange them according to your taste and even you can arrange these icons by editing simple editing like this and if you go to here it will go back to settings this are the overall settings now let's see some of the app results seeing with this android benchmark you can also judge the app opening time here it was run using this maximum the performance mode you can see the temperature raise was 4 degrees celsius and battery drop was also 4 percent during this testing and the scores are 6 lakh 78825 which is good in my opinion that's really good uh, it would reached 7 million but that's fine 6 lakh 78 is also a healthy score for me 11 x powering a snapdragon 870 and i have shown the cpu throttling test no yeah you can see here the maximum was 313 and average was 248 and minimum was very low here 180 million jps which is throttled to 66 percent of its max performance but uh, i can say it's not going to happen every time but it was a hundred thread test guys and uh, i don't believe in this app results but if you want to then you might see here it's a throttling rom but it's not going to happen similarly when i play the pubg mobile like games i was experiencing very good gameplay here and safety net status this is one thing you need to consider as you can see cts profile match get failed you need to use the magics model in order to pass that I need to flash the magics in the recovery first then install the app from here and pass the safety net status fix model then it's going to pass it that's one thing they would have been improved in this particular rom but i don't know what was the hurry for them they just released this and you can see level one certification you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not the problem here and camera you get a leica integrated camera all the features are working fine you get just 4k 30 fps in the video resolution that's the maxed out resolution no 60 even 180 uh, 1080 p 30 60 fps is also simply missing in my opinion the other features let me go into more other things are still present in my opinion those things are going to fine and geekbench score again you can see the app opening time this is the score again run with the same you can see it's almost reaching 1000 here 995 single score and multi score is 3263 link 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used here for the me linux alioth in android version 13 the scores are really good the performance is always the plus point for this MIUI VN edition this is 14.0.4 edition guys like the video come on yeah 
<laughs> internet connectivity is also fine and dialer you get a proper MIUI dialer here and direct video call those things are still present the UI interface wise I did not found any new things just they could have been fixed that safety net status then this could be a very good ROM but it's not a problem for the people who are using from long time yes that if flash method won't work for some of the uh, builds but if you are coming from previous build then you can even that if flash this ROM overall I can say it's a very good ROM I can say it out I enjoyed using this particular ROM it's very good just they would have been fixed safety net status by default instead of flashing magics and doing blah 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 those things will be a little bit time consuming for users but majority of them will know how to do that that's how it is I think this is a very good ROM let's say BGMI the PUBG mobile gameplay how it handles and wind up this video if you guys can see here it's like graphics set to smooth plus extreme you get even ultra this HDR extreme no ultra HD options here but smooth plus extreme is fine here you can see and the new gaming mode it's all present here you can even performance it's already in the performance mode as I shown before and increase the volume as you can see it's loud enough here and even the quick settings panel toggling from here is also very fine no problem regarding that let's say where these guys are jumping no i don't want to jump here let's go to pochanki oh have i unfollowed no i missed this guys let's at least go to pochanki yeah it's new map as you can see the new event has been started but I'm in bronze level currently I don't play much I want to play this from now at least then I can show you how it handles in some of the high-end leagues like crown ace like that and uh, the performance is fine here the experience of the game in this MIUI VN edition is always great the 91st option sometimes has been enabled in some of the builds but in this particular build nothing like that it's simply smooth experience you can expect even in the gaming if you want to play any casual games that's fine and device is also not getting that warm it will get warm after using for certain period of time it might get warm if you play in HDR extreme it might get a little bit more warmer that's how you can experience here the gyroscope all the things going to work fine if you set those in the settings and uh, that's it this is the gaming experience here I won't show you much here because I landed in wrong place here and uh, I mean still bronze edition okay everything is fine charging speeds are also fine here turbo me turbo charging 33 watt charging support is also working fine in this particular ROM if you want to use it as a daily driver and if you're already using the previous versions you want to update it go ahead and update it that's it in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now